Welcome to the vlog. Today we are feeding some bees. Now today I'm going through this yard of dinks that didn't quite make the cut for California. We're gonna go through, make sure they're alive, pick them up if they're not, and we're gonna feed them some sugar syrup. Now the reason we feed them sugar syrup is not to make honey, but for them to have food uh, in this time of dearth where yes, there's pollen that's busting, um, but there's not quite yet a good nectar flow for these bees to have food. And they need food to build up because they eat a lot when they're building up. So even though these are dinks, we wanna give them a good shot of feed, give them a chance going into the spring, cause chances are they're probably gonna turn it around. So you can see we've gone through and knocked all the doubles that were smaller down to singles. Um, this is, we just don't want, don't want too much space. If it's not a good box of bees, then we're not gonna give it two boxes. Now there's a lot of opinion around doubles, singles, story and a half. And we typically run doubles for everything. Everything in California right now are doubles. We got good activity. So this is what they all look like in California right now. Double deeps on four-way pallets that we can just pick up with our forklift and move, load on the truck. So I'm gonna go through them. I'm alone today, so it might take me a little while. I'm gonna go through them, feed them, make sure they're alive. And yeah, that's it today. We're gonna use the, the feed setup. So a quick rundown on the feed setup. Uh, this is a, I think 500 gallon propane tank that we welded some fittings to, and obviously you can see we got it chained down on the truck. So the way this works is we fill up, fill it up with sugar syrup with the, the fittings up top. And you can see it, uh, there's a gauge on top, and that is for air pressure. So right here, we hook that up to our air compressor, or we can also hook it up to our truck down here and fill that guy with air pressure. Um, so what this does is the syrup that's inside of it, we pressurize it and then that lets it come out this valve right here. Um, and then we have this hose reel that whenever we squeeze this, it lets syrup come out. Um, hose reel I think is, I think it's three quarter inch hose and I think it's uh, maybe about a hundred foot. Good bit of hose. So I'm about to roll that out, check these bees and hopefully not pick up very many dead outs. These are pretty calm today, so I'm gonna try to pop some, some lids one-handed. You can see weaker colony. Basically popping it, seeing how many bees are in it, and then leaving the feeder exposed, making sure the feeder is not full. Making sure it <coughs> doesn't have any trash in it. I pop one like this. I don't really need to get a wider lens, don't I? If I pop one like this, then I'm probably going to bust it in the middle. See, so 
see what's going on. So we got a great box of bees down there if we'll focus. So what I'm going to do here is slide this box over and actually feed the feeder in the bottom box. Because that's a good box of bees down there and I want the feed to be close to where the bees are. So I'm going to do that right there. If you can see that. And then put this lid right back on top without exposing the feeder. So we got our feeder down here. That makes sense. So normally doing this with two people, it's easier, uh, but today... But today my dad is uh, playing Mr. Politic in Austin, uh, trying to get a, a bill passed, so it's just me today. Enjoy the show. So another thing I'm doing is putting in some drone comb today. Um, I'm a little late on this, but better late than never, right? So this to me is a good candidate for drone, some drone brood. It's not the best candidate, but my best candidates are in California. The brood pattern's not great in here. Not at all, but there is brood. Uh, and I'm not seeing any EFB. Not seeing any mite issues, at least that are visible. There's some EFB and some PMS. Yeah, never mind then. We will find another candidate. So while this has good bees, it's got some reasons I don't want to make it uh, make it produce a bunch of drones. So back to our regularly scheduled programming. Now we gotta do the same thing on this side. Now please enjoy this episode of the laziest way to pick up dead outs ever. So we got dead outs loaded up, everything's fed, everything's got the appropriate amount of boxes, forklifts loaded up, valve shut off, the hose is rolled up. That's how we feed a bee yard. Well, hope you enjoyed watching me feed these bees today and uh, run around like a crazy person by myself. I don't know why I did this by myself, it just needed to get done and uh, all my help is, is gone currently. So hope you enjoyed this one. If you like it, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Going to be putting a lot more videos out this year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.